manual support during installation. Use the provided manual for full installation instructions. Installers in this video are licensed professionals. Vigo highly recommends using a licensed contractor to do this installation and will require a minimum of two people. Vigo has the right to update and modify this product. This is done with your best interest in mind as we will never stop striving for perfection. Using installation instructions as a reference, check hardware to make sure all pieces are present. For tech support, call this number. Replacing your shower door can be very easy. First, inspect your package and all of its contents before installation. Verify that the shower door is appropriate for your cabin opening. This model is made in different sizes to accommodate your specific installation needs from 44 inches to 72 inches in width and 66 inches in height for tubs and 74 inches in height for shower stalls. Shower enclosure is made from tempered glass. If mishandled, it could potentially shatter. Never rest the glass directly on a hard surface and be careful not to bang it while moving. We're now ready for our glass panels. First, to simplify this installation, rest the door panel on the inside of the cabin. Keep the panel on a piece of cardboard or something soft to avoid damage. Place the structural rail into the opening with the mounting brackets attached. If the rail is too long, remove the brackets and cut it with a hacksaw appropriately. Be sure to cut on the shower door side only, opposite the fixed panel holders. Never attempt to cut tempered glass. Openings for the fixed panel on the structural rail are designed to accommodate uneven wall conditions by making slight adjustments easy. Adjust the panel holders on the rail accordingly, then mount the fixed panel. If you're using our matte glass, make sure the matte side is on the outside of the cabin. Clear glass can be reversed. Apply your seal strip from the bottom up on the side that will go along the wall. This can be either side depending on your means of installation. Next, grab your fixed panel bottom clip and place it approximately 3 inches from the wall underneath the glass panel. Then, install your bottom guide on the other end of the panel so that the edge of your glass panel ends at the midpoint of the guide. Hold your setup level and mark for your bottom clip, your door guide, and the circumference of your structural rail mount brackets. Afterwards, double check everything, move the setup, find the center of your wall marks, and drill. While precision is always desired, Minor alterations can be made after checking the level of the rail. The fixed panel sits on the curb, but the door is free-floating with all of its weight supported by the rail, so proper wall support is crucial. Make sure there are studs behind the wall where you decide to mount your setup. For your next step, remove the wall mount bracket assemblies and unscrew the plates. Place them on the wall facing you and screw them in with 2-inch screws. These plates provide 13 millimeters of adjustment space in each direction on both sides. Next, pre-drill holes in your bottom door guide and fixed panel bottom clip, insert anchors, and screw them down using 1 and 1 8 inch screws. If screws are not applicable, such as mounting on top of a tub, the use of epoxy that corresponds to the material of your tub is highly recommended. After that, place the wall mount brackets back on the rail and screw them to the mounting plates with the hex key. Check with the level and make adjustments to the plates if necessary. Grab your rollers from the box and unthread the caps with a small head hex key. Place the rollers on the top two holes on your door and screw them back together. You can adjust the height of the rollers with the large hex screw on the back of the rollers. Attach the seal strip to the door panel on the side that closes to the wall. Mark and cut any excess off the top. Then, hang your door setup on the structural rail. If necessary, loosen the adjustment screw and rotate an individual roller. With your door panel resting in the door bottom guide, attach your bottom rollers to ensure the door never pops off the structural rail. Adjust your door stopper so the door can't slam closed and your door handle can't hit the fixed panel. Now it's time to install the threshold. The end of it should go halfway inside the door bottom guide and should rest against the fixed panel. If the threshold is too long, cut it with a hacksaw. If it's too short, use the extension clip. Placement of the threshold is critical to avoid leaking. Next, remove the threshold, apply silicone to the underside of it, and put it back in place firmly. Then, apply silicone to the threshold around the inside and outside of the shower base. Remove any excess. With a washer on both sides of the glass, screw your handle in place. Grab your seal strips and attach them to the inner sides of the door and fixed panel from the bottom up. After they're in place, mark them underneath the rollers and cut the flange portion off of the seals. This will prevent the door from getting caught.
apply silicone caulking along the wall and floor of the shower enclosure interior. Wait 24 hours before using the shower and never allow water to directly hit the door seal strips. To keep your shower looking brand new, wipe down the inside with a water beating treatment similar to one you'd use on a car windshield to keep the glass looking brand new. That's all we have for today. See you next time.